Hey, what's up YouTube? My name is Brett Westwood and today I'm going to show you how you can upload files to your GitHub account as a new repository. This could work for JavaScript, Python, pretty much any coding language this tutorial will apply to. So stay tuned. Also before you start, if you could like and also subscribe to the channel, that means a lot to me. But let's just jump right into it. So I'm going to share my screen here. And the very first thing we need to do if we are going to use GitHub is we need a GitHub account. So if you don't have one, you can create a GitHub account on github.com. And then after we do that, we need to install Git onto our system. So to do that, you just got to go to git-scm.com. You're going to go to the download and I'm using a Windows computer. So we're going to download for Windows and then it gives you two options. It gives you a 64-bit or a 32-bit. So if you don't know exactly what uh, bit system you have on your actual computer, you just go to your settings tab on your computer. You will go to the about and then underneath the about it's going to say system type. System type and mine says a 64-bit operating system. So I'm going to install for 64-bit git for Windows setup. I already have it installed onto my system and make sure that it is installed correctly. We can check for that. So I'm going to open up my computer's terminal and I am just going to type git dash dash version. This will show me the git version I have downloaded and I have version 2.37.3. So my git is downloaded onto my system. That gives us the ability to use git commands. So we have like git init get status, get add, get commit, get push, get pull, get clone. So it allows you to actually use it on your operating system. So we could exit out this tab. And now I am on GitHub. I am zoomed in so you can see better. And we're going to create a new repository. Like I said, this is for any coding language. So this should work. All you're going to do is either press top, right next to top repositories, there's a new tab, or you could go to the top right underneath your profile image, you click your repositories and then click new. But we're just gonna start it from here at new. The repository name is the first thing it asks, which is the project name that you'll see on GitHub. So you should type something related to what you're doing. But what I am doing is I am uploading a register tutorial for Next.js 13. So that's why I'm naming it that. You can also have a description so when people go to your repository, they can read it. I'll leave that blank for now. We're also going to have a public, or you could have it private. We're going to keep it public. You could add README files. You could get NORS. We're going to just leave all this as default. And let me just reiterate, this tutorial is a quick start guide. It's not very in-depth, but it's going to easily help you upload this new repository to your GitHub account. So we're going to just click Create Repository. After we click Create Repository, we are going to be hit with two instructions. One's going to be creating a repository on the command line, which is what we're going to do, or you can push an existing repository from the command line. So we're going to follow this pretty much step by step. So after we did this, it creates this specific um, origin right here that this is going to allow us to see the repository. This is going to be like the URL in a sense. So the first thing we need to do is we need to initialize Git onto our project. So I am going to use the terminal inside my VS Code editor, text editor. You can use it on the terminal. Just make sure you change directories into the correct project that you want. After you do that, we're just going to type in git init. This is going to initialize Git. After that, to make sure it did initialize, I'm going to open up the file explorer real quick and I'm going to confirm it did. And to confirm it did, we're just going to have to go into that file. So wherever it is on your computer, mine's right here. And as you can see right here, there's a new file folder called .git. It is a hidden folder. So for me, I'm using the newest version of Windows. And as you can see, I have hidden items selected. And if I just like not select it, you can't see the git no more, the git file. But I'm going to select it. That means we initialize Git into this project. After we initialize Git, the next thing I want to use is I want to just check the status. So if you ever want to check status, you just press Git status. And as you can see, I have no commits on the branch master. 
and these are all the ones I actually need to add. And it tells you use git add and then the file name to include in what will be committed. So you can say git add and then whatever you want to add. But for us, we are just going to say git add and then the period, which means it's going to add all the files. But before I do that, here is a key thing you want to realize. If you there's some stuff you do not want to push in certain files onto your GitHub because you don't want people to see it. So for mine, I have a .git ignore. So you can create a .git ignore file on the root layer of your new pro of your project. Mine's right here. And I'm just going to minimize the terminal real quick. And for me, I have a .env.local. So for me, I need to rename this to .env.local. So that means it's supposed to ignore this specific file, this .env file, which is a specific secret string. So you don't want anybody to see your secret strings. So this is what you have to do. You have to do .git ignore file. I don't mind showing this string because it, I don't really care for this project, but you should be able to hide yours for sure. So we could press git status again real quick. Just make sure everything's good. And as you can see here, if we scroll up, oh, well, let me scroll up. But that .env file is not there anymore because I changed it to .env.local and it's inside this git ignore. So what we need to do next is we need to add all of these files. So git add and then period. That adds all of the files. So we're going to press that and then we're going to check the status again. So we're going to say git status and as you can see all the files are green and they're ready to be committed. So after we do that, we can check to make sure we're following all the steps right. So we already did the git init. We already added all the files. You could also add a readme file, which is optional, but you don't have to. Now we need to do a git commit to dash m, and then we could just say first commit. That's usually what most people say, but you could say whatever you want. So I'm just gonna copy that and paste, and I'll just say first commit, and I'll press enter. So we just committed all of these files to our repository. Then we can look at the next step and it says git branch dash m main. We can do that. It's not necessary as well, but we will just do it step by step of what it's telling us to do. After that, we're gonna paste it, enter, and then that's our branch is our main branch. That's the branch that we're gonna push all of our files to. After we do that, this is the most important step. So before I do this, I'm gonna refresh this page. And as you can see, we're still on this page. After I do these two steps and push, the next thing you're gonna see is the actual code that you push to your GitHub repository. So we are gonna copy this and we are going to pretty much set up this project inside of this specific string URL. So we're going to press enter. Everything should be ready to go. We have no errors. And the last step we need to do is we need to do a push. We need to push all the files to this main branch. So we're going to press enter. And all the files should be pushed. We could just press git status. Oops, spelled that wrong. So git status. Your branch is up to date with the origin slash main. So it says everything is nothing, there's nothing to commit. We're working with a tree of clean. So now we go back to our repository page right here and we just refresh it. Now, as you can see, we refresh it. Now we actually have our code uploaded to GitHub. So if you just click in with it, you can see all the code that I did now that everybody can see publicly. And it says the language, and everything is done and that is how you successfully push your project onto github another thing i just want to mention real quick is that if you do want to make changes to your code inside of your text editor so say i go inside of this register page right here real quick and i just put another question mark I forgot password you're gonna see right here in my extensions, there's one pending change under the source control. This is a VS Code editor um, specific thing. 
I could commit these changes by pressing commit, or I could just do a push, a git push, and then I could also push the changes to that repository, but this is a really quick, easy way to do it. So you could either type git push and then push changes that are new. So if you type in git status again, you are gonna see that it's gonna show, let me type again, git status. It's gonna say that the file modified was the register page because I just changed it a little bit. So you could just do a git push to push these changes or you could come up here to this extensions little icon right here, commit the changes. Yes, you're late to commit. Now you could just say changes or whatever you want. You exit out of this page and then you'll sync the changes. So now these changes should be applied to your GitHub repository. And you'll be able to see that it says changes now at 621, which just happened. So that's how you successfully push new projects to your GitHub account, and also how you can make changes and edit the code even though you pushed the Git and the project to your GitHub repository. So if you have any questions, just leave them down in the comments. I hope that was very clear and understanding to do. I will have timestamps down below so you can follow them. But the main methods for Git are going to be Git init, then you're gonna have Git status, Git add, git commit and git push. So those are the main git commands you need to know to actually upload a project or file to GitHub. So if you learn anything from this video, hit that like button and also subscribe for more.